Oh, hey. Just got back from Jamaica. Files on hand. Mind the mustache. I apologize. Sorry, not sorry. Also got a Negroni. Fix that up after all the Campari signs and bars that I saw while in Jamaica. But overall, I filmed a little bit. Most of it is encompassed within one day. Um, I just could not find the moments to really film or the things that I wanted to. But overall, I think it does a pretty good job at showing what a few days, what a weekend would look like in Jamaica and highlight a few of the places that we went. So without further ado, enjoy. Well, it's turned out to be a lovely morning in Jamaica, <clears throat> the home of Jerk Chicken, and more importantly, the Jamaican bobsled team, Cool Runnings. I'm joined this time with Schmitty. Yeah, man. <laughs> on this vacation. We're uh, out on the West End right now in Negril, more specifically. Yesterday, we were out at Seven Mile Beach and we went to Rick's Cafe to enjoy a little cliff jumping. Quite the time. But yeah, today I think we're just gonna take the car east and see how far we can get. So join us while we road trip that way and see what we can find. First order of business is always getting out from our estate. Takes us a solid 10 minutes down the dirt road here. Then we're home free. Good day to you, goat family. Hello, babies. Well, we made it to the Blue Hole Mineral Spring they have here, and what an absolute rip. Pay $10 to get in this place, just to walk to around, not, not even jump into the Blue Springs, so. And just go to Rick's Cafe, do it for free. And it's a higher jump too. And if I leave, the band expires. So, you know what? I think I'm fitting just to leave. Horrible. All right, we're at a uh, Rick's Cafe in the grill. Famous clip jumping spot here. We're gonna hit those high dives. Let's get it. <laughs> the running man, yep. Every day is rally car day. Well, uh, change of plans for today. It was only the millionth pothole that we hit. <laughs> We've hit so many worse so, ones. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it out to where we thought. I think it's going to be a direct turnaround at this point, but we'll slap this bad boy on and head back and see what else we can make for the day. Well, we decided to uh, push it a little bit further with the car and actually make it to YS Falls. So, last thing before we head back to Negril. Yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> Can't even see that. All right, all right. This one, this one was worth it for sure. Much better. Good thing we we kept going on that spare tire for a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, just like that, now we have a, a baked tire. It's not patch, it's baked. He heated it up and put this shit on it, and now we're good to go. Even the tires are baked. Yeah, sidewall bake on the tire, but oh my god, thank god that got done. Thank god we had the cash on hand to resolve that, but no more shenanigans. We're going back to the grill for today. I'm not going to take my chances any further, so... <laughs> We're gonna hang out at the Airbnb probably and uh, plan for tomorrow. Maybe some golf, maybe a drive over to the East Coast and try, attempt for it again. But that is it for today. Enough fun that all one can have. Schmitty wants some jerk chicken. So we're gonna get him some jerk chicken. Not gonna lie, it sounds pretty good right now actually. Okay, so I'm gonna do it in two different packages. All right. Is that fine? That's fine. Okay. Load it up. Pork chicken and fish. No, the, the chicken. Yep, yep. So I'm gonna do the chicken in two different portions. Yeah. What do we get? Yeah. All of it. <laughs> chicken, pork, and the fish, all jerk style. Secure the package. Secure the package. Dude, that is blistering hot. <laughs> Well, we made it back to where we began yesterday. We're running the beach. Time to set up. Eat some jerk. Watch the sunset. What did we get? Damn. Oh my god. Mm, get that sunlight, baby. I know, right? Golden hour. So this is the fish jerk. Jerk fish. In the back chickens and pork yep. and beers bon appetit you come here to have a good time right yeah no one no one to go yeah, 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 right, right. right. Have a good night, man. <laughs> Dude, I was waiting for you to go in that God damn it. that glove department <laughs> in the glove compartment. Uh, I knew I should have to buy and conquer for groceries. <laughs> yeah, never leave me alone in the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. You know what's coming. There you go. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> Sorry, bud. Welcome to Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, man.
a new day, a new chance to get to Kingston. We failed miserably yesterday with a flat tire, but we're gonna give it another shot. We're gonna make it this time. What's our chance of success? Oh, look at this road, we got this. <laughs> today we is have... a good day. <laughs> exactly, no puddles on the road this time, so we're looking great so far. Let's keep up the momentum. Feels good to be walking after about a three hour car ride, but we've made it. We're in Kingston. It ain't bad. At least the park ain't. Do a little bit more walking. A few blocks, see what's up. But yeah, Emancipation Park. Oh yeah. Looking good. Actually looking real good. In uh, the new Kingston district. <laughs> Sunday definitely seems a little bit more dead. A lot of trash everywhere, a lot of people sleeping on the side of the sidewalk. But for the most part, it's pretty chill. Respect the bitter. How many Campari signs have we seen? Too many. Too many. I make that in my Negronis all the time. Another Campari with the full on bottle this time. Well, the uh, Bar Bob Marley Museum is closed on Sunday, unfortunately. So next best was Devon House, which may be better actually. Get some food, check it out. So the Devon House here in Kingston, it seems a little bit random with everything else going on. But uh, yeah, it was built in the 1800s. Is actually, or was the residence of uh, George Siebel, Jamaica's first black millionaire. So there you have it, fun facts. It looks like the uh, the back of Georgia Boy's house became a steakhouse too. Nice. Oh well, well, we uh, we made it back to the airport finally. I don't know. For me, Jamaica mixed feelings, highs and lows. We had some car trouble. We pivoted. I think we are quite effective with getting around and, and making the best of what we had. But uh, overall, I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Uh, Kingston, I'm glad we finally got to see it. And the grill was awesome. Cliff jumping, of course. Love that. What was your, uh, what was your impression of Jamaica? It's pretty wild. It's a wild place. <laughs> good times here, but we're going to sign out for now. Of course, with the red stripe. See you on the flip side.